Hi guys, welcome back. So today I want to uh, talk about some of the work that I have uh, done uh, for a project called JMeter Kafka Container. Right. So why I call JMeter uh, Kafka Container is that I have created a JMeter container that actually can perform a load test uh, for Kafka Container on a container platform. So uh, basically if I have a Kafka uh, container that is running in a uh, container platform such as OpenShift, um, I can use JMeter to actually uh, perform a load test. So with this, I also have uh, enabled the uh, Prometheus uh, uh, grab for JMeter and the Kafka so that uh, you can have a better view and uh, monitoring on the JMeter as well as the Kafka. So this is a web, uh, the GitHub website that I have created. Uh, basically, um, all the information is here, right? So this uh, screen shows a list of uh, some of the parameters that actually you can pass in to the uh, JMeter container to customize the uh, load test itself, okay? And uh, you can basically run this container in the Docker engine or you can run it in the uh, OpenShift itself. Um, I also have created a script that actually uh, located in the bin folder, right? So where you can actually run this and it will help you to quickly uh, configure and deploy uh, components such as like uh, Red Hat and Q streams, uh, create a, a, a test Kafka topic, um, configure the Prometheus and Grafana for you. So basically this, uh, this is created mainly for uh, OpenShift uh, 4.5, 4.6 above, so where you uh, have the option to use the uh, centralized or the built-in Prometheus and also uh, deploy a cus customized Grafana uh, to point to the Prometheus itself, right? So um, uh, in order to use this, uh, obviously you need to have a, a MQ stream operator installed. Right, so I also list some of the limitation here, so uh, you can go through. Also put this, put up some steps here if you are really interested to uh, clone this down and actually uh, do your own local uh, testing or try out. So you can actually run uh, your local Apache server, Apache Kafka server, your own uh, local Prometheus and Grafana. So you can follow this step and to try to set it up. So I also created some of a uh, uh, two sample uh, dashboard uh, for Grafana which are uh, included in this uh, uh, github uh, you can actually import them uh, to try uh, to look at how uh, it looks like uh, from the perspective of monitoring the JMeter and the Kafka okay so uh, I actually also created an article on my personal uh, blog site which is called uh, Brandos so in this article actually I outline in more details uh, step by step and all the things and uh, you need to watch out and you need to uh, follow through right so uh, I have all these uh, detail uh, document down in here uh, step by step and add all the document all the configuration and date uh, document that I have so um, um, like I mentioned, if you uh, need to use the uh, dashboard you can follow this follow through right uh, this will point you to the right uh, dashboard that you can import from the uh, github itself okay um, so I'll put these two uh, link for the github and this article uh, in the description of the video right so uh, you can refer to them later so uh, without further ado right so let's look at the uh, uh, the JMeter uh, load test itself okay uh, so before that uh, I just would like to touch about uh, the test plan Actually, I created a simple test plan, uh, which is embedded or built together with the JMeter container. So um, this is the uh, test plan. If, if you can see, I have some of the user defined variables, which is uh, those that is listed in the uh, GitHub. So some uh, all have a default value. And uh, obviously, so if you want to change uh, some of these uh, properties, you can actually pass it through the environmental variable when you launch the container. Um, so this is the track groups and this is the um, uh, so-called the JSR223 sampler and I use this uh, to implement uh, 
simple, some of the simple uh, uh, Kafka client, right? Using the uh, Java, and uh, basically it just uh, set up some of the properties for the producer, and then send the uh, Kafka message to the desired topic. Okay, and uh, I, like I said, I actually want to monitor the J meter itself, right? So, uh, example like the response times, um, the the so-called uh, JVM uh, usage and all these uh, for the gen meter itself. So I actually enable the um, Prometheus uh, exporter for the gen meter, right? So these are a list of some of the pro uh, metrics uh, that actually uh, by default come with the uh, exporter, right? So you can refer to the uh, article I have actually, and also the GitHub actually put out some of the uh, links for this where these uh, uh, so-called uh, component and how to actually uh, fine-tune or, or change it right so yep so that is the uh, janitor uh, task plan that I have um, I feel that is uh, good enough uh, for uh, whatever task I want to do today and but if you think this is not good enough uh, basically you can just clone the uh, github and modify and change it and if you think that you have done a very uh, good uh, enhancement on it let me know or just uh, contribute to the, to the GitHub itself, okay? So uh, let's head to the uh, OpenShift. So I'm running uh, one uh, cluster of OpenShift. Uh, actually, just for test purpose, this is a uh, one, all in one node OpenShift. So uh, performance is uh, good, but it's limited. Um, so uh, I have this um, running for, I have some of the testing running for a while. Uh, but just want to show you, right? So uh, basically, I have this, um, I have this MQ stream installed using the uh, operator, right? Uh, so with operator, everything is so much simple, and I have this uh, Kafka cluster, and I have this uh, two topic here, right? So P three means P three R three means I have three partition and three replicas. P five R three I have uh, five. Uh, partition and three replica right just uh, to uh, do a test and have a feel how it uh, looks like um, and I have uh, a, a, a so I have actually deployed uh, the generator uh, container here and it has been running for uh, a while now and if you see here um, there is this is the uh, environment variables that I pass it in. Um, example, uh, my best size is 3700. I have 300 uh, threads. This is the topic that I want to send it to. Uh, I continue to loop it, right, so that I can see how it looks like uh, or until I satisfy with the statistic. Um, this is how I expose the, uh, the, the, the port for the exporter so that it can grab by the uh, Prometheus. Um, so this this is my sampler label. So this is quite useful for for me actually. Uh, I can use a different label to uh, actually label all my container so that when I uh, grab the uh, when the Prometheus grab the uh, metrics, I'll be able to see right for I I will be able to see for this label is for scenario A for this another label is scenario B for my testing, right? So it's quite useful. Um, so um, that is the uh, environmental variable. So if you look at the logs itself, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, running in the background. So let's head to the uh, Grafana dashboard here. So if you see, um, I have one uh, container running with uh, 300 threads here. Okay. Um, so this is the number of all the metrics. So far there is about uh, about 49,000 of uh, total requests that is, has been uh, produced and you can see that um, I actually uh, also run uh, a, a short while of uh, another test for P5R3 right so this is sending to the um, sending to the uh, uh, P5R3 topics right so the the and with the trade of 100 uh, red bulk time is 60 so it's it's quite user friendly here with the sampler sampler label right so response size is about 5.5 uh, milliseconds. Uh, that is not very um, ideal, but uh, we know if we have uh, it were to tune our best size so that we can have a, a acceptable response time, 
uh, versus the throughput. Okay, um, so this is the um, Apache Kafka uh, dashboard, right? So you can see how the CPU goes, uh, how the uh, messages come in per seconds and things like that. Okay, um, so if I want to do another load test or I want to do uh, another uh, scenario of uh, load test, right? What I do need to do is just to uh, launch or, or deploy another uh, container here. So I name it as uh, Jmeter Kafka dash T100 with bins for 100 threads. And uh, sorry, and uh, I have uh, it will it will send to this uh, Kafka topic, and I have my label which is here. Uh, this is my topic. This is uh, basically my best side is uh, 3700 uh, thread 100 uh, ramp up time 60 minutes right so my batch size is 3700 right so this is um, just simple right you just do this OC new app and you will deploy into the OpenShift and come back to here you will see uh, OpenShift is starting to create the container and Yep, it's running at the back end now. Okay, so when we go back to the, um, it will take some while, right, to for Prometheus to scrap that that uh, metrics from the new container, but soon that you will see, um, there is this new, um, request coming in, for my this container, which is, uh, lt, five p lt dash p three. 35R3 dash BS 3700 um, dash T100R60, right? So um, you can see the uh, threats of active, active users starting to increase, right? So that is about uh, 100 threats for this container, right? So uh, you go up to 400 active users, right? So it's quite flexible and, 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 and powerful, right? With uh, using a J meter as a container on OpenShift. Right. So what about uh, if I want to run more threads, I want to run up to 7, 12, 10,000 of uh, active user and threads. Right. So uh, obviously uh, it is not a good idea to run a thousand of threads in one container. Right. I have tried it out. If I run 500 threads per container, uh, basically I will receive a, a lot of error inside the container saying that uh, it's not able to create the threads. So what I can do is that I can have a smaller threads of uh, port or container, right? So example, I have one port with 300 threads. I can run multiple ports to just simulate a test for thousands of uh, user or threads. So in this case, when I go to the deployment, right? I want to increase the number of threads or user, right? So I can just come to here and edit the port number to, let's say example 10. Right, I want to run 10 port now. So this port or container actually has a uh, 300 uh, threads per container. So if I run it to if I run it to 10 ports here, right, that means I will have 10 times 300, which is uh, 3000, right. So you can see that the at the the active user of the thread started to increase over the time right so this is very powerful um, I can simulate a lot of user as long as I have enough uh, resources in my open shift right um, and 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 you can see the the number of threads starting to increase over the times and uh, probably you want it's a good idea to let it run for a while so that you can get a, 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 a concern or, or so-called uh, uh, average uh, uh, quite a good average number of statistics so from here with this uh, container I think uh, it gives us a new way uh, to really uh, look test our uh, Kafka on the open shift so the Kafka that I, I, I uh, like you see here right so in Red Hat our Kafka uh, flavor is MQ stream right so we can actually load test the MQ stream on open shift without boundary now right 
so uh, that's all about my uh, demo right so this is all I want to share uh, I hope you enjoy this and benefit from this uh, video um, feel free feel free to uh, just uh, download the container or the the, the, the uh, source from the uh, github and, and, and use for your project for your load test right and uh, thank you that's all bye bye